So I just figured I'd show off a little bit of a hack that I just set up. I picked up the uh, Amazon Fire TV stick uh, just yesterday and uh, I stayed up, or just Friday, and I stayed up pretty late Friday night messing around with it. And uh, I was reading online that how you can basically get these things to play um, the Kodi app. If you're not familiar with it, it's a... Uh, it's a media streaming app that's pretty popular on computers. Mostly started off as a XBMC from the original Xbox, where they modded it to play various media and emulators and all kinds of stuff. So that's been moved on from there to computers and, and to Linux and to the Raspberry Pi and, and to lots of other things. Um, I've been using it mostly on like my tablet and on my computers for the last several months kind of messing around with it getting more and more into it um, on the fire stick here you have to side load it there's some pretty limited functionality with this thing out of the box you can get your Amazon Prime and your Netflix and Hulu and stuff but as far as there's no app store on this device which really limits the amount of stuff it can get so for playing like full-blown video games you have to buy them through amazon and then it basically loads them to your fire stick which i think is kind of dumb but anyway if you want more than what is available on their computerized app store then you have to do what's what's called side loading and it only works with certain apps, but Kodi is one of them. And as you can see, I also have like Firefox loaded and I have uh, like a File Explorer loaded. We're going to go down here to my app library. Um, I've installed some game emulators. I don't have a controller at the moment, so I can't really mess with them too much. They're pretty useless with just the Fire. TV remote control. I've installed Flash and um, some other things. I tried downloading some games just to see what it'd be like to play them with the controller. It's with the remote control. It's pretty terrible. But we'll look into getting a Bluetooth controller pretty soon that will work with this. Um, got Tetris and Pandora and Netflix and some other stuff. But let's just go into Kodi here. I'll kind of show you how that works. So first of all, we'll talk a little bit about how I got it to load. So they have this little program here. It's called ADB Fire. And what it is is it uses the Android developer bridge to side load programs onto the Fire Stick. And it goes through your... Well, you have to use the IP address for the Amazon Fire Stick. So you can see I've got it set up with the IP address. It sees the device. It has some options for installing apps and whatnot. There's some apps that are kind of pre-built into it. Cody's one of them um, where you can just kind of hit install and it just automatically downloads and installs Cody for you with no extra steps. But other apps you have to find somewhere on the internet, download the APK and then use the app installer option here to sideload them. A lot of apps don't work. They'll just come back that they failed to install. Um, but there is a list of apps that work. And so I've found a couple of those lists. And as you can see, I've added various apps to, to my Fire Stick. But let's just go into Kodi here and I'll show you kind of how it works. So Kodi is just your basic media player, but if you go back, let's go back to the home screen on it. So this is the basic Kodi home screen. If you've ever used Kodi or XBMC, you should be pretty familiar with this. You have your system, your program, your videos, your music, everything else. So for videos, what's really useful is they have this little add-on called Exodus. And Exodus is basically a way to bring a Netflix or type of capability to Kodi, but it's all free. It gives you 
recent movies and TV shows. So if we go in here and we can go to movies and and pick, let's go to most popular. And you can see here brings up movies that are out in the theaters right now and some movies that are out on DVD already. Of course the quality is you know, ones that are out on DVD is going to be better quality than the ones in theaters because you get that whole shaky cam, someone using their cell phone in the theater type view. But this is all free. It's all preloaded through various databases. So let's go. We'll check out a TV show so you can kind of see how it works. We'll go to TV shows. Most popular. And you can see here they've got Gotham and some of the others that are pretty popular right now. Um, if I go to like Big Bang Theory, I can go down to season nine, which is the most recent season. And you can see it now brings up a list. So it'll show you a little check mark for the episodes I've already watched. Sometimes the checks don't always work. I mean, I've watched all of these episodes that in between that aren't checked, but for whatever reason it didn't mark them as watched but if I pick an episode here and it will load kind of like how Netflix might load it's loading its various stream sources and now it's going to be loading the streams and now you see you have various sources where the movies are being pulled from from G video and open load and no s locker you know s locker a bunch of different stuff but if i uh choose a video here it's gonna take a second but there it goes it loads up pretty quickly Or maybe there's just no volume at all. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, oops, there we go. My my speaker was not turned on properly, apparently. So anyway, that's the basic setup of Cody there. So let's go back out. What's nice is that it'll keep playing the video even when you're looking through for other videos. So if we go back, we can keep going back and we can get back and see even, we can even bring up the basic video, music, Now, if you go into like settings, you can change some of the appearances and the add ons and everything else. Now, in order to get like Exodus to work, you have to do what's called an install repository. So, Kodi works kind of like Linux, where it has app depositories. Think of them like an app store. Um, so you have to kind of sideload some of the sources for it to pull things that are unofficially developed by the Kodi software team. And then you end up, so you end up having to go in here to but you end up going into system and file manager and um, so I had to add a repository called Fusion. Um, if I go in here to it, I can kind of show you. Um, I can edit the source on it. And you can see I had to add a URL, basically, and then give it a name. So it has a source to pull the information from. And then if I go into the Fusion repository... I can go to the XPMC repos, uh, select English, of course, and it gets into all these different 
um, programs that I can add. So basically the one I added, of course, first was Exodus right here. Um, there's still some other ones here. I got to look and see what they offer and what different little tricks I can do. I know that there's lots more different video add-ons that will add um, videos from other countries and, and other shows and and just more sources that might be more reliable than others and and you can get like sports and, and all kinds of YouTube and music and all kinds of stuff. Um, so that's the basic setup for Cody. Basically it turns your fire stick into a uh, into like a modern day black box so you can get any show or anything you want to watch. I said you can add music, you can add other programs, you can change the the interface of Cody quite a bit. So I just thought I'd show off this little trick. And when I get some of the game emulators up and running with a controller and all that, we'll do another video and just kind of an update on some of the programs, I, some of the hacks and stuff I like to play around with. This is this is you know one of my favorite pastimes. I like to just drink a beer or two and hack a system. So here we go. These are my these are my hobbies. I know. I'm an odd little guy. I'm a nerd. I enjoy it. I've already rooted all of my phones and my tablets, so why not play around with my uh fire stick? The only thing I don't like about the Fire Stick is apparently the original Fire TV box can be rooted and you can add a lot more functionality like bringing in games like Grand Theft Auto and stuff like that um, and be able to play big full feature games like that and not have to download them or and I'm not even sure if I can get them to work on the Fire Stick without rooting it. I might be able to buy them through their little weird online app store that then transfers them to my Fire Stick and then play them that way. But that basically means I have to buy them a second time because I already own Grand Theft Auto and a few other games on my tablet through the Google Play Store, not the Amazon App Store. So, but at least a lot of those games are synced over the internet. So if I do Grand Theft Auto, it's synced through Rockstar's cloud service so I can get my same game progress. I just have to buy a controller that works with it. So, we'll go in here, we'll exit Cody. Um, on the side of the, for actually adding stuff to the Amazon Fire Stick, you have to go into the settings, and you have to go into your, your system settings, and it talks about developer options, and then you have to turn on debugging and apps from unknown sources. Um, there's lots of how-to guides online on setting all this up. I'm not going to bother going through a step-by-step. -step. There's plenty of people who have explained it pretty well. And it's really easy to find this stuff. I followed a pretty basic how-to guide. So anyway, that's pretty much it. That's my, uh, my newest little trick that I've been getting into for the past two days.